Here it goes. I'm going to see if I can change the engine and tranny on this 2001 Nissan Altima without dropping it out the bottom like last time. I'm going to pull it out the top, hopefully, as a unit. I don't know if this is, can be done. I don't know if it's ever been done before. First step, remove the hubcaps, get rid of the axle shafts. Here's the uh, replacement engine and tranny. Cleaned up as best as I could. I've got the engine hoist all rigged so that it's uh, nice and balanced and hopefully I can tilt it out of there. Because the last time I tried to pull the engine tranny, there's a mount down here on the tranny and the tranny is actually bigger than the engine bay. So the in tranny couldn't come up. So I ended up uh, dropping out the bottom, taking it apart, pulling the tranny off and pulling the engine out the top. When I put the engine back in, put it in from the top and then I put the tranny in from the bottom and that was pretty easy but I noticed that the frame has a removable transmission mount so I'm thinking that maybe I can pull the engine and tranny as a unit out the top just like you do on a real drive truck like I just did this engine and tranny so let's see if it's doable Here it goes I'm going to try to pull this engine got everything disconnected Exhaust, alternator, radiator, all the wiring. I took the axle shafts out and put the struts back on real quick. I'm doing it different this time. I'm not going to disconnect the lower cross member or take the exhaust off like I usually do when I pulled the engine last time. I'm going to try to leave those on. I'm just going to remove, I think, this bolt and these two, or maybe even just these two. I'm going to remove all five bolts to hold the training mount on. And then the four bolts on the trans. Basically, there's bolts go right through. And uh, got the engine, I mean, the Altima up on jack stand, so I'm just going to put the hoist on it and see if I can pull this out the top. It's pretty tight over here, but uh, I think the worst case, if I pull the harmonic balancer off, I may be able to, but there's like. I just put that pulley, a new one on there. I just need about half an inch there. You can see over here, this training is like half an inch longer over here, so. If not, I'm hoping I can just tilt it and get it out without going through the bottom again. Let's see, it's taking me over two hours to get to this point. Okay, here we go. Taking the engine and training out from the top when there's physically less room than engine. Using my little tilt -a wheel. There we go. I got the engine and didn't even take the hood off. I didn't think it was going to be possible, but without disconnecting the AC, I was able to pull the engine and tranny out. It wasn't too bad. I think I'll just pop the tranny off the new one. Put them in as separate. It may be easier because it's pretty tight. There you go. My daughter helped. Okay, it is out. Engine and training as a unit. I didn't think it was going to be possible. I think this stupid little uh, whirly burn bender thing uh, is what made it possible. So I put a bolt right there. Put a bolt right there that's not even used on the chain and I uh, had to link the chain together with a bolt and I was able to move it this much and that was enough to tilt the engine just enough. I removed one front engine mount bracket off the block. I did not move the rear one because uh, it would just be too much of a hassle. And I removed the frame bracket. I figured there's a reason why that frame bracket was removable. And this one is welded on. So um, I've always wanted to see if I could do this. And it wasn't that hard. It didn't hit that hard. I was able to flex the uh, the two AC lines around the engine and training without damaging them, without discharging the AC. My daughter actually pumped the hoist. She's never used an engine hoist before. So uh, awesome. Now I'm trying to figure out. I lost the 14 millimeter socket somewhere. Just vanished. But uh, I think I'm gonna pop the training off 
on the new one. Put the engine in, this is how I did it last time. And then just put the training on. It was pretty easy to put the training on. Okay, so I swapped over the water pump and tube, and this is a new hose and brand new clamps that I bought for the old engine, so I cleaned all this a long time ago. So transferred that over while I was in the air. And I'm actually just putting the engine back in by myself. Uh, pretty scary, but it's working. I'm going to see if I can do it. There we go. I got one bolt in. Just got to do the other mount, the back mount, and obviously the front mount. But I successfully put the engine and tranny in, and in 2001 KA24 DE, 2.4 liter. Pretty much, uh, by myself. My daughter actually helped a little bit on both out, but I actually put it in and got it past the two AC lines by myself, just bleeding the valve, just having it cracked open, just slowly lowering it down. I was able to kind of bend these around without really actually bending them, just kind of pull them out of the way. So now I just got a couple of wires and hoses to hook up, and eight hours later I'll be running. No. So far, I think it's taking me uh, four or five hours. Ah, oh, that's pretty good, I think. I think it's actually faster than pulling the engine and turning it apart and doing them separately.